Well, coming to pick up my old Poland's. Look at this. Look at how this man's living, bro. Man, just got a Dodge Stealth, a van, OBS pickup, whole bunch of junk, man. Poland needs to clean up after himself. Well, I'm just kidding. This is Poland's house right here. It's actually not that bad. All right, see, I got graffiti. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show him how you got graffiti. Poland got all these girls on him. Look, they came and signed their name. They said Katrina, Perina, Safina. Over here is Jodina, Nikki. Sticky and Chelsea right here, man. I don't know what the hell you doing, Poland, but you got them all pissed off, boy. Where are we going, you shaky son of a bitch? Hobbs, New Mexico. We're going to Habs. It's disgusting. The place is disgusting, but the track is nice. Oh, well, I can't wait. It's, uh, you told me about how there's a casino there. I mean, so a, there, the, the casino is cool, but it's it smells like shit because it's oil filled. And there's a lot of money out there. How exciting. Okay, we're going to Hobbs, New Mexico, everybody. What's this race called? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Yo, Jason, me and Paula were just cruising down the highway headed to a race right now, and we were thinking about that time that that chick said that she was the Travis Sajana on the car wheel. Look, we've been going down the highway in the middle of nowhere. We're literally in the desert in West Texas, in between New Mexico and Texas right now. I'm going to show you. We're in the middle of nowhere. And there's watermelons on the side of the highway. I told you. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. Look, that's a real watermelon. Oh, look at them all. Tell me that ain't a watermelon right there. That one's rotted. I'm looking for a good one. This one looks good. Yeah, it's good. We gotta cut it open. Look at that. Texas side of the highway watermelon. Try to tell him to wait till we get to the track, and he no, said, "No, I ain't got no time to wait to the track." Bro, that was hard as fuck. Don't set my hand because I'm not looking. Oh my god, what is it? I don't know. It doesn't look edible right now. Here, oh, eat that. No. I don't know. It just smells green. It smells like it smells real green. Yeah. There's seeds in it, though. So I'm assuming it's a watermelon. Oh yeah. That's seedy, but it's green. Maybe it wasn't ready. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Right here. <laughs> what, what? Why does it smell like a cucumber but look like a watermelon? I don't know, but I like the, I'll eat anything, bro. I'm not a picky eater, yep. but I do not. Three bags of cocaine. Or eat cucumbers, okay? I will not. I will not eat a cucumber. Now I'll take a drink now. I will take a drink, but I do not free base cocaine. Under any circumstance. Is it like a childhood thing? A no. thing? Just... Oh, you know what? Pimento cheese and cucumbers. No, you're, you're not me. Yep. Not for me, bud. But, you know, I'll, I'll take a drink and I might even smoke a little reef. You know, I, I like to smoke. Hobbs, boy, we at Hobbs. Man, they they proud of their PA system. Listen to that motherfucker, cowboy. Tube keeps copyrighting Star Spangled Banner. I'll show it right here. Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. You know the race before the race? Yeah, I just finished that one. Yeah, I won. Yeah, I won. Why? 
We're racing at from the 8th mile down there. Oh, we're not racing from the front side? No. What the? Yeah. Hey boys, you're number one. First pair down on uh, back into the track. That's never good. So uh, let's whip a tune up up in there. Whip a tune up. I already took the shocks. I put them Jeff Thomas long travels all the way to zero on the extension, as my boy Turbo John would say. And uh, now I'm fixing to fiddle fart the computer and maybe we, I don't know, shift it early. Does that sound good? We shift it early so it doesn't knock the tire on the top of first and then run it on motor and maybe touch the nitrous may maybe touch the nitrous but just, i don't know what i'm doing folks y'all know the first step here folks first step is you're gonna want to rob billy dale's computer because you ran over your own and then you got to take your glasses off so you can see what the heck you're doing something about the screen and we're on the line once you get in the grid, once you hack in, this is what you're going to be seeing. You're going to click over here. You're going to go to output switch. This is how I shift the car. We're going to shift that Johnny early, boy, like 5600. We shift in there 5600. All right, that's done. And then let's go, uh, let's see. We're not going to use the two-step. It's foot brake only for daily, baby foot brake only for daily that means our launch retard won't work step retard don't matter because well we probably won't use the nitrous anyways oh well, it's been fun i feel like we already lost first round but i shouldn't have that negative mindset all right you see what had happened was we got in daily driver because we fit the rules okay can't hate it and we drew that uh, all-wheel drive f-150 with a whipple on it first pair first pair down Like a damn jet ski. Now these are really the problems that you run into when you're racing in the winter. I bought into True Street. There was only three cars I got to buy to the final, so it's not like I've made a stellar pass one time today. Uh, we're gonna race this dude over here. I think his name's Nate. Yeah, it says Nasty Nate. Nasty Nate. Nasty Nate on the uh, door over there. And it looks like he got 10 dead bodies in the back of that damn thing. Uh, but I'm a, I got a trick for him. I'm gonna leave in second gear. I'm gonna leave in second gear and see if it hooks, stays planted the whole way. I went 780 on the draggy. I mean, I'm, I'm better off just getting out and running at this point, but we're going to give them everything we got. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope. Sunday morning, New Mexico, hospitality, A++. I'm not, I'm not fond on backside no prep, but I'll tell you what, I am fond on, and that's people who live out here and do race out here, solid Johnnies. Real solid Johnnies. We need to get one of them butt hurt bars. Maybe we should holler at, uh, what's his name? Uh, Beater Bomb. Beater Bomb? Yeah, maybe Beater Bomb can make us a butt hurt bar. 
I think I'm supposed to be going left here and not YouTubing right now. Do you know where we're supposed to be going? Uh, so, so you think you can tell Heaven from hell Blue skies from pain Can you tell a green field From a cold steel rail A smile from a veil Do you think you can tell Come to the realization I dropped pulling off. Drop pulling off. Come to the realization that I don't have enough tools. And your boy's been rolling around the country with no tools. So then you end up at a track trying to race with no tools. So so here we go. It's about to happen. I uh after three hundred dollars in harbor freight, this is what I ended up with. Show you what you get for three hundred dollars. The box is about sixty bucks, okay? Sixty bucks for the box. Got me some gloves. Will I use them? Probably not. I'll probably forget them. Got a good flashlight. What you know about Oh, shit. Flashlight. Got a set of pliers. Assorted. Got a set of adjustable wrenches. Got a set of regular SAE wrenches. Got two socket sets. Three eighths. Quarter. Bottom drawers are miscellaneous, okay? Got your uh, Allen stuff, some miscellaneous buck connectors right here, wire crimpers, wire cutters, big wrenches down here, zip ties, gotta have zip ties, bottle caps, cause your boy, you know, well, y'all remember the story there. Weak old unrefrigerated pie. Tape measure, I don't think I need a tape measure, but it was small and it was a dollar, so you know I bought that. Now, I don't want to end this video off on a sad note, but it's been on my mind a lot, especially just coming back from West Texas. I lost my dad in July 2020, and uh, it never gets any easier, but um, it's something you learn to live with. And uh, he worked in West Texas a long time, and I really miss him. But you know what he'd say right now? Quit looking up a dead dog's ass. So here's to you, Dad. Love you.